Peter Baelish informs Sansa Stark that Brynden has reunited the remnants of the Tully army and successfully taken back Riverrun from House Frey, and he advises her to seek her uncle out for help retaking the North. Heeding this advice, Sansa sends Brienne of Tarth to meet with Brynden. Lord Walder Frey berates his sons for losing Riverrun, and requests help from the Lannisters in taking it back, thus beginning the second siege of Riverrun. While parleying with Jaime Lannister, the Blackfish informs him that Riverrun can hold out for two years, and that he must be ready to lose thousands of men if he wants to storm Riverrun. Realizing that the Blackfish has no intention of surrendering, Jaime is furious that he had to meet him at all. Later, Brienne of Tarth arrives with Sansa Stark's letter, asking the Blackfish to send his forces north to join Sansa and Jon's army. The Blackfish refuses to give up Riverrun, even for his great niece. Ed Muir is sent to retake the castle from the Tully garrison, under threat of the murder of his son. The Blackfish knows that Ed Muir is not coming of his own free will, and orders the men not to let him in. Though the Blackfish commands the forces at Riverrun, formal authority is vested in Ed Muir as the rightful head of House Tully and the Lord of Riverrun, and his men are obliged to obey Ed Muir, not the Blackfish. As his men allow Ed Muir into Riverrun, a disheartened Blackfish leaves the battlements. Edmure orders his men to surrender and that his uncle be put in chains, but the Blackfish refuses to surrender and resolves to kill as many men as he can. He leads Brienne and her squire Podrick Payne into a waterway to escape Riverrun on a boat. He stays to die fighting for his home, though he admits he'll probably make a fool of himself due to a lack of recent combat experience. A Lannister soldier later reports to Jaime that the Blackfish was killed while resisting arrest. Though Jaime appears saddened that he has helped the Freys murder another member of Catelyn's family, it is unknown if he gave the Blackfish a proper funeral or allowed the Freys to desecrate his corpse as they did to Catelyn and Rob at the Red Wedding. As the Freys and Lannisters celebrate their retaking of Riverrun at the Twins, Lord Walder gloats about the Blackfish's death at the hands of common foot soldiers. Later, however, the Blackfish and all those who died at the Red Wedding are finally avenged by his great-niece Arya Stark, who murders Lord Walder and his sons. Black Walder and Lothar.